Well, what's happening in the world right now is something that I think most of uh, you know the, the generations that are living on planet Earth right now have never dealt with. You really have to get back to normal and and and. and well, fix the situation in some way with simulation. The very first thing we looked into uh, when you know this this pandemic happened uh, was how can we help you know to to create safer spaces uh, to go back to normal. So we worked really hard to take our you know uh, best-in-class software for transient turbulent flow with particle tracking to model the propagation of the water droplets that would be projected from a sneeze or from a coughing in the real world. So, you know, that was the very first step. And then the second step we took was looking into the environment. So looking into an office room, looking into an aircraft cabin, looking into a vehicle cabin, and use this uh, approach to assess, you know, the, the propagation of the virus within those environments and how to mitigate it potentially uh, by people having using masks, by, uh, by basically, you know, uh, proper behaviors to try to contain a sneeze or a cough or even just changing design of ventilation system or, or HVAC systems to reduce the propagation. And we've got some very encouraging results that we shared that we were able to be used to make decisions. I think that's moving forward. Our generation is going to be more careful about, uh, you know, the, the spread of such contaminants, some viruses and, and diseases. I think that truly we can help making uh, all of those environments better.